Special Prosecutor Robert Mueller zeroed in on President Donald Trump's business dealings with Deutsche Bank as his investigation into alleged Russian meddling in U.S. elections widens. Mueller has issued a subpoena to Germany's largest lender, forcing the bank to submit documents on its client relationship with Trump and his family, said a person briefed on the matter, who asked not to be identified because the action has not been announced. When Michael Flynn lied to the FBI, they destroyed his life, while nothing happened Hillary Clinton who also lied, claims US President Donald Trump. US President Donald Trump announced big cuts to use the highest sprawling wilderness national monuments, angering tribes and environmental groups that want to keep the areas off limits to development. Locals often did enjoy the volume and quality of tourism in Amsterdam. Facebook has released a limited preview of a messaging app designed to appeal to a new generation, as many young users prefer Snapchat. Sterling slipped from a six-month high against a trade-weighted basket of currencies on Monday after European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker and British Prime Minister Theresa May failed to reach an agreement on a divorce deal. Doctors at a Dallas hospital celebrate after a woman with a transplanted uterus gave birth, a first in the United States. Firebrand commentator Milo Yiarpoulos resigned in February as editor of Breitbart Tech after coming under fire from other conservatives over comments about sexual relationships between boys and older men. When Michael Flynn lied to the FBI, they destroyed his life, while nothing happened Hillary Clinton who also lied, claims US President Donald Trump. Deutsche Bank always cooperates with investigating authorities in all countries, the lender said in a statement to Bloomberg, declining to provide additional information. Deutsche Bank for months has rebuffed calls by Democratic legislators to provide more transparency over the roughly dollars US 300 million Trump owed to the bank for his real estate dealings prior to becoming president. Some Democrats have asked whether the bank's loans to Trump, made years before he ran for president, were in any way connected to Russia. The bank previously rejected those demands, saying sharing client data would be illegal unless it received a formal request to do so. Trump has denied any wrongdoing. Mueller's investigation, which is looking into alleged Russian interference into last year's US election and whether Trump's winning campaign assisted in those efforts, appears to be entering a new phase. Trump's former national security adviser, Michael Flynn, plead guilty Friday to lying to FBI agents, becoming the fourth associate of the president ensnared by Mueller's probe. More significantly, he also is providing details to Mueller about the Trump campaign's approach to Flint's controversial meeting with the Russian envoy during the presidential transition. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy.